Homo bagnolus, is it a late surviving middle Pleistocene hominid or just a very early Homo sapien with slight Neanderthal features? A re-examination of an ancient mandible fossil has left scientists with more questions than answers. In the 1800s, a number of Cro-Magnon and Neanderthal human fossils were discovered. They included the cranium and femur in Neander Valley, Germany, discovered by quarrymen in 1856. One of the 1800s fossil finds was a mandible discovered in a quarry in northeastern Spain near the Catalonian town of Bagnoles. Paleoanthropologists assumed it was a Neanderthal, although over the years, with repeated examinations of the fossil, they conceded it had some puzzling features. In 1887, a fossil mandible was discovered during quarry in Bagnoles, Spain, studied by different researchers over the past century. Bagnoles fossil likely dates to between approximately 45,000 to 65,000 years ago, at a time when Europe was occupied by Neanderthals, and most researchers have generally linked it to this species. Professor of Anthropology at Binghamton University, Ralph Quam, and his graduate student, Brian Keeling, conducted renewed research on the mandible. In December, Quam and Keeling, along with their co-authors, had their paper published in the Journal of Human Evolution, January 2023. Keeling, we evaluated morphological features and performed a three-dimensional geometric analysis on a virtual reconstruction of bagnoles to capture overall mandibular shape. Our results revealed no derived Neanderthal morphological features in bagnoles. Quam and Keeling write at phys.org, Early Human Presence in Europe, May 2023. Evidence for an earlier Homo sapiens presence in Europe has come from two sites in Eastern Europe, including a partial skull from Zlatikun Cave in Czechia, dating to 45,000 years ago, as well as more fragmentary remains from Bakukiro Cave in Bulgaria, dating to around 44,000 years ago. Additional potentially earlier evidence is represented by a single tooth dating to 54,000 years ago from the Grotte Mandron en France. Grotte simply means cave in French. Quam and Keeley narrowed the dates down for Bagnoles to between 45,000 and 66,000 years old. This would make the fossil more likely than not the oldest evidence of Homo sapiens in Europe. Keeling at phys.org. Working with Spanish paleoanthropologists and archaeologists, we took another look at what species the fossil might represent. We relied on CT scan to virtually reconstruct damaged portions of the mandible. Our results revealed that Bagnoles jawbone was most similar to Homo sapien fossils, not to Neanderthals. Juan Luis Arzuaga is a professor of paleoanthropology at the Universidad de Madrid. He is a longtime co-director of the excavation site at Atoporca, which includes Cima de los Huesos. He is also a close friend and colleague of evolutionary biologist Professor Maria Martinón Torres. Señora Martinón Torres is also a co-director of the Atoporca site. The hominid fossils discovered in Atapuerca, Cima de los Huesos site, are now dated to 430,000 years ago. Remains of 28 individuals, including 17 near-perfect condition skulls, have been excavated from Cima de los Huesos. The fossils were originally believed to be Heidelbergensis 530,000 years ago, but newer dating methods came up with an age of 430,000 years ago. As Thought.com reported, the Pit of Bones, November 2022, based on morphological attributes, the Cima de los Huesos fossils represented an archaic form of Neanderthal rather than Homo heidelbergensis. The new dating and analysis strongly suggests that Cima de los Huesos hominids are early descendants of Homo antecessor, soon after divergence between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals. In regards to the University of Binghamton Spanish Atapuerca joint venture, Dr. Arzuaga is adamant and unequivocal. Nos un Neanderthal es en casi toda su morfología un humano moderno, 
El fósil de Homo sapiens considerado hasta hoy el más antiguo de Europa era Pestera Cuoase I de Romania, pero nosotros afirmamos que Pañolos es más antiguo. Quote, it is not a Neanderthal. It is in almost all its morphology a modern human. The fossil of Homo sapiens considered until today the oldest in Europe was Pestera Cuoase I in Romania. But we affirm that Banyoles is older, end quote. Quote, we were confronted with results that were telling us Banyoles is not a Neanderthal, but the fact that it does not have a chin made us think twice about assigning it to Homo sapiens, end quote, explained study author Rolf Quam. There is no agreement among scientists as to the evolutionary purpose of the human chin. Anatomists and anthropologists hold vastly different theories on the facial feature. Some scientists believe the prominent chin evolved for sex selection in both male and females. Others argue it helped in chewing as our faces became smaller and more gracile. There are also a variety of lower facial anatomies in the early modern humans. For example, Homo 1, Kenya, 210,000 years ago, had a prominent chin as did Cro-Magnon in Europe. But as the Smithsonian notes, the skull known as Skull 5 in Israel lacked the chin, but is still considered early modern human. From the Smithsonian, after more precise dating techniques, scientists found that the modern Homo sapiens fossils at Skull were about 90,000 years old, much older than was previously thought. This meant that the anatomically modern human population at Skull lived at precisely the same time as the Neanderthal population nearby. Roberto Saez, from his blog, Nutcracker Man. Banyoles lacks elements derived from Neanderthal mandibles. It looks like a generalized and primitive form of Homo. Its assignment to Homo sapiens seems clear. The absence of a chin may be due to hybridization with another archaic species not yet identified. Another alternative explanation, Homo banyoles could have latent phenotypic traits from Homo antecessor. As Robert Simon at Warbleton Council Encyclopedia Sussex, England explained, the chin is withdrawn and in general, the lower jaw is thinner in Homo antecessor. Quote, if banyoles is really a member of our species, this prehistoric human would represent the earliest Homo sapiens ever documented in Europe, end quote, Brian Keeling, University of Binghamton. Chris Stringer, Interview, Seth Shaggy's World of Paleoanthropology, YouTube 2022. Based on the most recent evidence, who do you think the most likely common ancestor for Neanderthals and Homo sapiens is? Stringer, I don't know, but it's probably something with a face more like Homo antecessor than Homo heidelbergensis. Early modern Homo sapiens confirmed in Western Europe 60,000 plus years ago dramatically changes the story of human origins. Modern Europeans are descendants of Cro-Magnon with Neanderthal DNA admixture. Are Cro-Magnon descendants of Homo antecessor? That would put European origins on the European continent to potentially 1.2 million years ago. Additionally, it would further destroy the leftist narrative that ethnic Europeans have recent out of Africa origins. We will be highlighting Baku Kiro, the Czech early modern human fossil, and the new discovery of the 56,000 year old fossil tooth at the Grotte de Mandroit, Montfons, in upcoming episodes on this channel. So make sure to subscribe to get notifications. Thank you.